Right, it's an introduction to radioactivity. We need to have a look at atomic structure. Okay, so in terms of the history of the uh, nuclear model, Democritus BC came up with the idea of atoms. Okay, so atoms being made from stuff. Okay, Dalton in the 19th century at the start uh, concurred with Democritus, Democritus and talked about how um, elements are made from things called atoms. J.J. Thomson discovered the electron and came up with his plum pudding model, uh, model and talked about how it was a positively charged sphere with the electrons inside. And then Rutherford used his Rutherford scattering to find the nuclear model and the idea that there was a nucleus and most of the atom was empty space. It was later in 1932, Chadwick's work, where he discovered the existence of the neutron. So, what Rutherford had is he had a lid box with alpha particles, and he would fire the alpha particles into the gold foil. And what we were expecting is either them to uh, pass through, sail straight on through, or to be bounced back. And what was going on in this case is the idea that there was some deflection going on and the fluorescent screen was lighting up because it was being hit by alpha particles. This was conducted in an evacuated chamber and that was to highlight that it was the alpha particles causing the effect. Alpha particles are the same as a helium nucleus, two neutrons, two protons. So, alpha particle would sail past if not close. Alpha particle, because it's positive and this is positive, would be repelled. If in line, then it would also be repelled without making contact. And when we have a look at nuclear radii, we'll have a look at how electron scattering can be used 